had left the band, one of the things that he said was that he had heard his daughter singing the lyrics to Korn and, and that upset him. Did you understand where he was coming from there? It's a different situation because his daughter, his, um, the, the mother to the daughter left and split. So he's like, I got nobody to watch my daughter. You know, she has no mom, you know. So my daughters know better. They know I don't even cuss. So they come into my house and they're like, they don't, they wouldn't do that because they know better. They know how I live. So I don't even, I don't even trip on it. I can go do a whole tour for eight weeks, come home and not see my daughters. They come home and they know what I'm about and they're respectful and they don't do that, you know. And do they do it in school when they're behind my back? Probably. I did. I remember when I was a kid, I'd go, when I got home at the end of the day, I'd go to my room, I'd have a headache from cussing so much. Just because I, you know, you're like, F this, F that, that, that. and I go home, I'm like, oh, man, I got a headache, man. <laughs> Trying to be cool cussing, you know, like, but at the same time, my, it didn't call, it didn't go down in my house. Right. I didn't cuss in my house because my parents didn't allow it, so. The buses on the last Family Values tour were going a little more environmental than, than previously. Tell us about Corntastic. I think it kind of came about, like, Man, I remember I, I watched the Al Gore, The Inconvenient Truth, that movie, you know, yeah. and I was like, wow, man, that's crazy. And then, you know, everybody having kids, me, you know, all of us have kids, and we're like, man, we won't be able to see our kids grow up, and what can we do to make a little change, you know? One of our friends of ours came to our studio, he had an old Benz, and he pulls up, and we're like, it smells like a a restaurant in the back, you know, you can smell because, and he goes, oh, look, and we look at the sticker and it said 100% vegetable oil. He's all, I'm burnt. He goes, I pull up to the back of restaurants when they throw the oil away, and, and I say, can I take this? And he fills his car up, and I'm like, what? We're like, wow, that's crazy, man. And it smells like french fries or something. <laughs> it's a trip. That's pretty cool, you know, they're going to throw the oil away anyways. And Isn't it amazing how things like that exist, yet everyone doesn't use it? Inconvenient. Yeah, it kind of feels like people walk around with blinders on a little bit. Hey, like the truth is out there. We're just, you're right, it's inconvenient, so we, we don't want to talk about it. It sucks. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Like, what you think about when they show in that movie, they show the, uh, the frog, and if you have boiling water, you put a frog in the water, he'll jump out. But if you put a frog in regular water and, and warm it up slowly, he'll just stay, he'll die. Yeah. That's like, that's us, <laughs> yeah. you know? I'm guilty of it myself, but I'm trying to do as much as I can, you know? Like, they say, like, even with cell phones, if you just plug it in for the 15 minutes it needs to, instead of plugging it in overnight, we'll save, like, 50 years on Earth. Yeah. So I'm like, I try to do that, but sometimes I slip and forget, but, yeah, I, you know? Yeah. It's the same with anything you plug into the wall, right? It just keeps on sucking energy no yeah. matter what you're doing with it. Trying, you know, little, little tiny changes, but that's all we can do is everybody does a little change, just little things, we could all, you know, make a huge difference. And Using the uh, the frog analogy, the boiling water, do you think some of these extreme weather situations could kind of be that boiling water for, for people to wake up to? We can be like that frog where it's just, it shows it, it's getting warmer and warmer till we just all die. And we're like, well, I guess it's over now. Yeah. <laughs> it really hit bottom, you know? Like, and then I got, to the point where I was like dying from partying. Like, it's time to make a choice, but how?